Hey everyone, alright, so I've been thinking for some time how did Darth Maul actually lose to Obi-Wan Kenobi in The Phantom Menace? See, there are quite a few reasons, and um, well, some who've just seen the movies and haven't really been reading very much into it, they may just say that, uh, pff, well, Obi-Wan was better. Was he? Now, I'm a huge Kenobi fan, pretty much he's my favorite character, and, well, I would say it like this. Darth Maul was definitely better than Obi-Wan Kenobi at that point. Not in the Clone Wars, but at that point he was. See, by this time, Obi-Wan was about 25 years old, and um, Darth Maul was about the same. I think he was 27 or 28, something like it, I can't remember exactly. See, <clears throat> the thing about it was that um, Qui-Gon Jinn, you know, Obi-Wan's master, he was a master of the fourth lightsaber form named Ataru, which is basically one of the most offensive and energy-consuming forms. The form focuses on a pure, def a pure offensive uh, onslaught, and the problem with that is that... Um, when it also includes acrobatics, you know, spinning around, jumping up against the walls and everything, and really kind of attacking an enemy in bursts, then it drains a lot of energy really fast. Qui-Gon Jinn was approaching, well, he was actually 60 years old at the time of his death, and, you know, for someone to still use Ataru at that age, that's pretty impressive. But not only that, Qui-Gon Jinn managed to hold up that lightsaber duel for about 15 minutes, constantly, pretty much constantly on the offense. Obi-Wan, of course, was also learning Ataru, but he was nowhere as skilled as Qui-Gon Jinn in that regard, because remember, Qui-Gon Jinn was twice as old, and, well, he'd been training with it all his life. He was actually one of the top five practitioners of Ataru in the entire Jedi Temple, so, yeah. Now, one of the reasons why was, of course, because Darth Maul had constantly been on the defensive and he had had to fight two people at once. But also the fact that he was arrogant. He was incredibly, incredibly arrogant. You have no idea. One of the things that he wanted the most was actually to duel Plo Koon, and he has even made remarks wanting to do so, just to see how good he actually was. Now, the thing is, when he was dueling with two people at once, he of course he of course drained some of his energy sources, and um, <clears throat> at the same time, Qui Gon Jinn was also draining his energy sources. But the thing with Ataru is the fact that you keep going on, and you really you you don't stop until you're literally out of energy, or until your enemy is defeated. Either that, or you escape. Now. Ataru also includes putting physical strikes into your lightsaber sequences. It basically revolves around turning your entire body into a weapon. It could be punches, it can be kicks, it can be a knee. Um, you actually see that when, uh, when uh, Qui-Gon punches Maul in the face and Maul falls back and lands on his back. Before Qui-Gon once again goes to pursue Maul. Just before, just uh, it happened just after Obi Wan's been thrown down as well. Now, Obi Wan, why did he win? See, Qui Gon Jinn. First of all, he was getting tired, which is also why he was sitting there meditating. He was hoping that he could just hold out until Obi Wan, you know, could catch up to him. Why didn't Obi Wan use Force Speed? Plot armor. I would say plot armor. I really don't think it's anything but that. Um, yeah, because he could, and we've even seen it in the same movie that he was that they were both very capable of using for speed. So why didn't Obi Wan do it? Yeah, good question. Um, he kept going basically, and in the end, when Maul had also been walking back and forth, kind of seething in the dark side, and really, you know channeling his inner hatred to 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 give himself some more energy to get the adrenaline running to really get that rush 
to defeat Qui-Gon Jinn. And he sure did. Punched him in the face with the lightsaber hilt and... Yeah. Ironically, the same move that would be Maul's end. Anyway. Obi-Wan briefly got amped by the dark side because he was angry and started hating Maul for a brief time. But uh, Maul quickly got the better of him again using a force push. We know Obi-Wan doesn't have the strongest force wall. With that said, Obi-Wan was hanging there and Maul started getting very, very, very arrogant. He, his arrogance really started spiraling. You see, he had just defeated one of the top Jedi masters, one of the top lightsaber duelists of the Jedi Order. And now all he had to do was to finish off some pathetic Padawan. So, you see, that really boosted his, his arrogance and he didn't... In no way did he actually see what was coming. Obi-Wan was standing there, but then he remembered his teachings and the, and the Force. He started trusting in the living Force, as Qui-Gon Jinn was also very adamant that he should do. And in the end, that was actually what came through to him. Maul didn't even notice that Qui-Gon's Qui lightsaber started moving. He was so blinded by victory that he didn't even see anything of what happened. He was completely blinded by his own ignorance and arrogance. I mean, he had the win. If he had just let it, if he had just thrown his lightsaber or pretty much given Obi Wan a force push, it would be done. But he wanted to play with his victim instead, and in the end, that cost him his life. In my opinion, I still pretty much refuse to acknowledge the fact that he came back in the Clone Wars. Heck, if Qui Gon Jinn can take a stab to the gut and die, then Maul should die from being cut in two. Well, but that's just my uh, that's just my thoughts, um, my personal negative opinion about it. But uh, yeah. Well, Darth Maul was arrogant, and Obi Wan trusted in the Force. This same maneuver is actually very, very, very much resembling the one that he himself used on Anakin. Thirteen years later on Mustafar. Now, why did uh, why did it succeed for Obi Wan? Maul's blinded arrogant. Maul was blinded by arrogance. Why did it not succeed for Anakin or Priestess Darth Vader? Because Obi Wan had gone through that thing so many times in his head. He knew exactly what o what Anakin was going to do, and he knew what he had to do. So, yeah. Well. That was pretty much it for this video, and uh, I hope you all liked it. May the Force be with you all. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, hope you'll see. Hope I'll see you on the next one. Take care.